Hey guys, JV here, and this is a weekly vlog. Actually, I should stop saying that because this is going to be a every two week thing now. Uh, I just don't want to force these out unless I have something interesting or important to say. And also, if I'm making less content, then if I'm making a vlog every week, then 25% of my content is, you know, vlogs. So I don't want to do that. I just want to, uh, you know, not force these out. I don't want to force any content out anymore. I'm done with that. We'll talk about that more in a second, but I just want to share a little bit about what I'm playing lately. So Civ 6 came out and I'm really enjoying the hell out of it on my PC. Um, districts are a great addition. I don't fully understand them yet with the adjacency and all of that, but I'm learning and uh, builders. I love what they did with builders. It's really a game changer. You can only use them three times now. They're not like infinite use units. So uh, that really changes the meta, the build order, what you have to do over the course of a game. So I'm learning. I'm really enjoying Civ. Uh, let me know if you guys are playing Civ because uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, I got Gears of Four, uh, Gears of War, not Gears of Four, Gears of War Four. Uh, that was a game I was gonna pass on, but I just read so much good stuff about Gears of War Four. Um, I got it for you know my Xbox, obviously, um, and it's play anywhere. So I bought it once, and I can play it on my PC and my Xbox. So I fully expect to get into that when I've got the time, but haven't really had it lately. Uh, so. That's kind of on my backlog. Uh, Skyrim Special Edition's coming out on Friday, which is crazy. I can't wait to return to Skyrim. I didn't play enough of Skyrim. That's kind of uh, a confession I need to make. I started and stopped the game so many times. I probably played the first three hours of Skyrim 10 times. It's insane. And so I plan on just starting the game, sticking with one character, and playing through. Just picking a direction and walking. That's kind of my plan, and I really can't wait to get back into it. Um, so, yeah, my backlog of games is crazy right now. It's Gears of War 4, uh, Dishonored. I want to play Dishonored. I haven't played through that game yet before the sequel comes out in November. I don't have a ton of time to do that, so uh, <laughs> I got to fit that in there. Uh, I kind of want to play through Watch Dogs before Watch Dogs 2. I may not do that. I might just watch a few like recap videos because I don't remember a lot about Watch Dogs. Um, I know it's not a direct sequel, but at least I want to learn a little bit about the world and what's going on because I really don't remember a lot about Watch Dogs. Um, also, the Bioshock games are on my backlog. Uh, I've got them, the collection, the remastered on my PC. I want to play through one and two, maybe infinite, maybe not, um, just because I want to make explained videos for those video uh, for those games. Um, I've made a few Bioshock Infinite explained videos that really took off when they came out. Uh, I just explained what was going on with the complicated story and my thoughts on it. Um, and to, that those videos have been getting traction because the collection came out. So I figured, why not? Why not play through the first Bioshock and the second Bioshock, record all of it, and make some Bioshock explained videos for those videos. So for those games, excuse me. So um, that's kind of my plan uh, with that. So let's move on and talk about content. I've been enjoying the hell out of making YouTube videos lately. I've really been enjoying uh, kind of the direction I'm taking my channel in. Um, while it's definitely less views, I am personally really enjoying what I'm doing and I'm proud of the content that I'm making, at least that I have made over the past two weeks, at least since my last Fallout video, just to give you guys a reference and context. So I think uh, part of that is I'm giving myself looser time constraints. I'm a lot less stressed as a person. And uh, also my focus is on making the best video possible. Um, I know some of you guys don't like sports, but it's it reminds me of the concept in football, at least NFL football. It's that every new game is an opportunity to focus on that game and play the best game that you possibly can. I'm translating that concept to making YouTube videos. I want to focus on making the best damn video that I can make every single video. I do not want to force out content. I don't want to make a video just because I need to have a video up on a particular day. Um, if that's the case, then I don't believe in my content. You know, if the goal is to have a new video up every single day and that video doesn't take very long, I don't think it's a good video. I don't think that's what great content is about. Um, and so in this process and kind of turning my channel upside down and figuring out what was going on uh, and what's going on into the future, I think I've learned that so much about great content is what you do with the concept. And that sounds really simple, but it's what you do with the concept. And so the concept itself doesn't have to be that original or groundbreaking. You don't need to come up with the next Uber, for example. You know, Uber is a really inventive concept and it's a company that took off really quickly. You don't have to come up with that, you know, insanely unique, insanely original concept. But 
if you can take a concept and make a super entertaining video that is just fantastic to watch, that brightens up someone's day, um, I think that's what great content is about. Uh, whether that's through the energy and enthusiasm that you lend to the video, uh, the quality of insight and information that you provide, I think that's you know more towards what I had over the past year, but um, not nearly to the degree that I would have liked. Um, or the fantastic editing that makes it just a fun, entertaining video to watch. Um, each video is an opportunity to make the best video possible. Um, and that's what great content is about. A super entertaining video, taking a concept and, you know, applying your creativity to it. And so that's what I've learned about creating content. And I've also learned that that's not what I did over the past year at all. Um, if I had to be my uh, biggest critic, which I am, my content was forced big time. Like I've already talked about, it's make a video every day. You need to keep this up. You need to keep this traction. You need to keep these people entertained. And that's not what I want moving forward. Absolutely not. No, I'm done with forcing out content. Um, my content was lazy. And I can tell you that because number one, some of the videos that I made took, you know, maybe two or three hours total in terms of effort. Um, a big part of that laziness is relevant content. My God, am I the worst offender of that over the past year? My content has not had rel uh, uh, relevant footage. Uh, one of the biggest offenders of that is I made a top top five unique weapons in Fallout video, and there was just no relevant footage of any of those weapons, maybe one of them. I think I used the Deliverer throughout the video, but I didn't show off the other weapons, and that is just so just mind-blowingly lazy and stupid of me. And that was just because I wanted to force out a video and get a video out on that particular day. Um, and also another thing about my channel over the past year, I think it's a prime example of being an opportunist. And that is seeing something come out and wanting to make a video and get it up as quickly as possible, regardless of the quality of the video. And I don't think opportunism is a bad thing. Obviously, that's something that every channel wants to capitalize on. And the smart and successful channels certainly do. But good God, at least make a good video out of it. I mean, if some big fallout news comes out, obviously, I want to cover it and share it with you guys. But I don't want to make a shitty video. I don't want to make a low quality video. And so these are the things that I've learned and what I'm applying to the future of my channel. So I hope you guys um, are going to appreciate that and are excited about that because I certainly am. I really feel like this is turning over a new leaf and a new direction for my channel moving forward. With that in mind, I've made the decision to rebrand my channel under a new name. I just think JV 2017 and JV 2017 gameplay, um, you know, it's great that you guys enjoy watching my content for me and, you know, changing my name is not going to affect the people that really want to watch my content for me. That's not what I'm worried about because I fundamentally believe that if you want to watch my videos, it doesn't matter what name I have. And so I've got that on my side, but I don't think that JV 2017 and JV 2017 gameplay is a good name or brand to attract new viewers. It doesn't make sense. Um, it's very generic. Number one, it doesn't have any meaning to it. It doesn't have any immediate concept to it. Uh, and maybe that's my own fault over the past six years. I haven't been able to develop my brand. I mean, you have people like Noah J456 or something like that. It's a horrible name. I'm sure he knows it, but he's been able to develop a brand. I have not been able to develop a brand in the way that I like. So um, in terms of attracting new audiences and new viewers, I don't think that my current name achieves that. And so I've decided to rebrand under a new name and I haven't come up with it yet. It's something that I'm still kind of workshopping, brainstorming to figure out what makes sense for me. But this is a long term goal of mine. And I hope to have completely rebranded all of that by January 1, by 2017. So uh, <laughs> it will be the year of 2017, but not because my name is JV 2017. Uh, so. I'm really looking forward to that. I think it makes a lot of sense at this point uh, in the life cycle of my channel and what I'm going for into the future. Um, I guess the mission statement for this new brand is to create creative content with broad appeal and not force out content. I mean, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Um, so to move on uh, over the next week, the short term goals, uh, you guys can expect a new video, uh, kind of a new show that I'm going to be testing out called Trigger Warning. And uh, as you guys know, it's, it's a popular meme. People get triggered, right? In this uh, super PC world that we live in, 
triggering is everywhere. So many triggers. Um, so I kind of want to play on that and be sarcastic with that uh, and make a video series called Trigger Warning, where I completely complain about something for about five minutes. So um, the topic is going to be Red Dead and the, the launch of that and whatever. Sorry, not the launch, the teaser trailer, that kind of thing. So hope you guys are looking forward to that tomorrow. Um, but beyond that, just some really high concept videos. What I've talked about before, taking concept and making a really entertaining video out of it. Um, again, we're still in experimental mode. Um, but I want to nail down what our vision is for the future by January 1st. Um, also, I've been looking into a way to stream for you guys, which is crazy. I didn't think I'd be doing that, but it makes sense. I played so much Mafia 3 uh, in the past two weeks uh, before my review, obviously. So um, 14 days ago to seven days ago, I played a ton of Mafia 3. Um, and I was thinking maybe there's a possible way that I could stream that on Twitch and... Uh, you know, with a webcam and all the fancy doohickey stuff, just as a hobby kind of thing, not as, uh, oh, I want to become a professional streamer, uh, but record the gameplay, the raw gameplay, without the commentary, without the webcam, the overlay, and that nonsense. I want to be able to do that. I don't know if you guys know, is there a way to stream with all the fancy stuff, but record the raw gameplay at the same time within the software? That's something that I'm looking into with OBS, maybe the Elgato software for my Elgato HD60 Pro. Um, I don't know. That's something I'm looking into, looking into, but I'm certainly willing to do that on a you know very loose schedule. I don't want to be, like I said, become some kind of professional streamer. That's not my goal. Um, but you know, if I can stream for you guys and record gameplay at the same time that I can use for content, that's a win-win. So I want to see if I can do that. But anyways, let's wrap up this video with Patreon. As you guys know, or if you don't know, I have a Patreon. So you can go and support me uh, if you wish, if you didn't know, I have a Patreon page, link in the description below, where you can donate to my efforts if you wish. Don't feel like you need to. I don't need it to put food on the table. Um, but I want to give a big thanks to my $5 or more tier. We've got Phil, Jason, Tom, Matthias, Eric, Sergey, Jack, James, Stacy, and Saad. Ten of you. Thank you so much for uh, contributing to my efforts. And please know that what you contribute goes straight back into the channel and improving what we have here. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this vlog. It's definitely a long one. Uh, I hope you're excited for the future. I really do. And I will talk to you next time.